Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 8. This is Aki Tamino, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1. Hold on. <clears throat> in 3, 2, 1, go. There we go. Oh, the worst season is coming among us. Fucking allergy season. I hate it so much. What's wrong? <laughs> huh? <laughs> she pretty though even though we get to see the back of her No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, damn. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, it's pretty! <laughs> oh, in the escape room, that's fine. Reservates though? Oh, me, I know. <laughs> you poor baby. you just going to be short for the rest of your life. It's okay. <laughs> oh, his eyes are so pretty. He looks like you from Persona 4! Yeah, he didn't get enough sleep.
So cute. Yeah. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. 
And of course you do because you like him. We've been through this a thousand times. What you have been doing for the last few weeks. That too. I think that moment right there is when he's like, yep, I really truly love Sasaki. <laughs> Now it's just, he has to tell him. Excuse me. See, that's sweet. That's what a love of a boyfriend does. <laughs> Nothing. I love how we still get shots of the cat every single week. Look at the cat in the flowers! It's like, oh! He looks so cute! <laughs> uh.
Look at the look at his face. His eyes so tense. Oh. No, you liked it though. That too. Oh, oh, oh. Mm hmm. Eight weeks. Eight weeks. But it was worth it, finally. That he now realizes that he likes him back, too. And that he wants to be with him. Thank you, me and all. It just took all those moments. Especially after the chairman said something to him. And, you know, me and all asking, like, you know, hey, his opinion on love and everything, which is sweet. Because sometimes you do need opinions on up. Uh, uh, Opinions by other people in order to get your answer and your clarity and such. And so I'm happy. I mean, even that embrace. Like, oh my god. I can't. This is too, <laughs> this is too much. It's Sunday. I cannot with this. Like, oh. Jesus Christ. Like, seeing just the moments and then the flowers blooming. 
is blooming to you all over again because like i see that's the one thing i like about like this and blooming to you the moments between them are very subtle and they still tr struck a chord in you, but it leaves like a lasting impression on it rather than something like where a BL or a girl's love is very sexualized and stuff. Because we've talked about this like a gazillion times, but when we're getting into moments just like how Bloom and You and this are very similar to each other, it took a while for the initial protagonist, quote unquote, uh, me and all for this and then I cannot remember the girl's name from Bloom Into You. I can't remember either the girl's name but the protagonist was the girl with the orange hair. Um, a while for them to officially be like okay yeah I like you you like me officially even though you told me I officially now want to be in a relationship with you I want to move forward together as you know boyfriend girlfriend not boyfriend girlfriend boyfriend boyfriend girlfriend girlfriend it's like that and to see their relationship grow i, I mean okay i i hella get it with me uh, Suzaki being like you know can you drop out because he's he's being he's being selfish but selfish in a good way because he only really wants to see me you know cosplay and dress like that for him and him only it's very similar to where like it is normal for couples to go um, laundry shopping together. And so when the girl or maybe even a guy, depending on where you're going, um, gets a certain type of bralette type thing, you know, laundry type, and some guys get jealous, when, especially when you're at a store that is for a laundry store that's for couples, if some other guy walks by and like sees your girlfriend so of course they're like you know what no we're gonna take this home we're gonna buy this like you just hold it up and then yeah you're, you're just gonna model it when we get home and that's so much better because you know like i said people get jealous guys and girls get jealous but like it was so cute like i can't but the thing is like it makes you wonder is miano going to drop out is he going to keep his word to his class and stay in the competition I mean, who really knows? But the biggest thing that I'm kind of hoping is, since Miano now realizes that he is now a truly 100% deeply in love with Suzaki, I feel like by next week on episode 9, that is when we are truly going to see him confess to say, yes, I want to be with you. And then they're going to start dating. So they, I think something tells me they're not really going to start dating until like Suzaki Senpai officially graduates and Miyano is still in high school and stuff, which is still okay because they're like a year apart and such. So I'm not really mad about that, but I understand like, oh, hey, he's going to be busy getting into like colleges and stuff like that. So sometimes he may not have that time, but we all know Suzaki will make time to be with me and oh damn it like come on now come on it, it's hella obvious but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode, <laughs> episode 8 of Suzaki to me you know if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day <clears throat> join the actual squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next sunday for episode nine bye guys